Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today we will be discussing about IV fluids. We all know IV fluids, there are colloids and crystalloids. Crystalloids mainly contains electrolytes and water and colloids contain proteins. So we will be dealing with the most commonly used crystalloids. So crystalloids are of three types. They are hypertonic solution, hypotonic solution and isotonic solution. Hypertonic solution is a solution that has higher concentration of electrolytes as compared with body plasma. Hypotonic solution is a solution that has a lower concentration of electrolytes as compared with body plasma. Isotonic solution is a solution that has same concentration of electrolytes as compared with body plasma. So we will discuss with the most commonly used crystalloids. First is normal saline. Normal saline is 9 gram of sodium chloride in 1 liter of water. It is isotonic but it is com uh, a bit hypertonic because its osmolarity is 308. We know that body osmolarity is 270 to 295. So its osmolarity is 308. So it is slightly hypertonic. It contains 150 milliequivalents of sodium and 150 milliequivalents per liter of chloride and its indications are vomiting, diarrhea, BK, hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state. It is used for bladder irrigation, abdominal irrigation and is used in hypovolemic shock and it can also be used for dilution of drugs. Contraindications are it is usually contraindicated in fluid overload conditions like cardiogenic, pulmonary edema, CKD, etc. And its side effect is hyperchloremic metabolic acidosis, which is a normal anion gap metabolic acidosis because of excess of chloride and uh, the bicarbonate is getting diluted because of the normal saline. Next, we will discuss about half normal saline. It is 4.5 gram of sodium chloride added in 1 liter of water. It is a hypotonic solution. It contains 77 milliequivalents per liter of sodium and 77 milliequivalents of chloride. Indication, uh, indications are it is an ideal solution to increase the intravascular volume and it can be used in hypernatremia and can be used in DK after initial resuscitation with normal saline. Next we will discuss about 3% saline. 3% saline is hypertonic, it has, its, its osmolarity is 3 times that of body plasma because every 100 ml contain, 100 ml of this 3% saline contains 3 gram of NaCl and its milli equivalence is 51 milli equivalents of sodium chloride in 100 ml of NS. Its indications are severe hyponatremia that is sodium less than 115 milli equivalents. Here we give 30 to 50 ml per hour and we will repeat the sodium every 6 hourly. In case of hyponatremic seizures, coma and agitations we can give as bolus dose. We can give 50 ml bolus and the next 50 ml can be repeated after 30 minutes. Do not correct more than 8 to 12 milli equivalents per liter per day of sodium. In ray, then it can also be given in raised ICP. So in 3% saline is hyperosmolar. So as a result in uh, raised ICP uh, it can reduce the brain swelling by uh, shifting the fluid from the uh, brain cells to the intravascular space and it can be given as 1 to 2 ml per kg per hour. And uh, usually 3% saline is not preferred in hyponatremia if there is no signs of hyponatremia in that patient and it is contraindicated in fluid overload condition because uh, it can since it is hyper hypertonic it can uh, shift the intracellular fluid to the intravascular space and it can cause fluid overload. Next we will discuss about DNS. It contains 50 gram of dextrose and hydrose mixed with 1 liter of normal saline. We all know normal saline is 9 gram of NaCl in 1 liter of water. So it is isotonic. Dextrose doesn't increase the tonicity. So it is isotonic and uh, dextrose contains glucose which provide energy. It gives an energy of 4 kilocalories per gram. Indications are fluid replacement along with calories and it can also be used as maintenance fluid. Another fluid which can be confused with DNS is 5D. 
it is 50 gram of dextrose anhydrase in 1 liter of water not in ns but 1 liter of water and it is hypotonic next we will discuss about half dns it is 50 gram of dextrose anhydrase in 1 liter of half ns that is 4.5 gram NaCl in 1 liter of water which is hypotonic and indications are hypernatremia in pediatric patients we prefer half DNS more than uh, NS or DNS uh, because it helps to increase the intravascular volume in pediatric patients with shock and uh, half DNS is preferred in DKA if the blood sugar is between 250 to 300 mg per dl and it can also be given in hypoglycemia. Next we will discuss about 25% dextrose. It is 25 gram dextrose anhydrase in 100 ml of water. It is hypotonic because uh, dextrose doesn't increase the tonicity. Indications are hypoglycemia. It can be used as an energy source in total parental nutrition. It can be used as uh, dextrose uh, in 25% dextrose added with insulin can be used in hyperkalemia correction. Then one another dextrose is 50% dextrose that is 50 gram in 100 ml of water. So like that 25% like 25% dextrose there are 10% dextrose, 50% dextrose etc. Then next we will discuss about ringel lactate. It is the most physiological fluid. Uh, because electrolyte concentrations are similar to that of plasma. Uh, other than uh, sodium chloride, it contains calcium, phosphorus, potassium and all. The indications are diarrhea, post-op patients, in burns, in peritoneal irrigation and even in decay. So the contraindications are volume overload, hypoxia, liver disease and vomiting. Why in this condition? Because lactate this ring in the lactate in the ring, ring of lactate is converted into bicarbonate in the liver. So in liver disease patient the lactate, lactate level will be increased and cannot be metabolized. So it is contraindicated in liver disease. Then in vomiting the body will be in an alkalotic state. So uh, since the lactate get converts into bicarbonate again the alkalosis will increase. So it is contraindicated in vomiting but can be used in diarrhea because in diarrhea body will be more in an acidotic state. So uh, other, uh, other than these co commonly used IV fluids we have plasmalite, uh, isolate P, isolate G, isolate M. But here we discussed only the most commonly used fluids. I hope you have enjoyed the section. Um, thank you.